Inside James Comey's decision on Hillary Clinton, the former FBI director revealing in his new book that classified information would have, quote, cast serious doubt on ex-attorney general Loretta Lynch's ability to investigate the Clinton email server. Hmm. Here now is Brad Lakeman, attorney and former George W. Bush senior staffer. I mean, this is such quintessential Comey-ness. You know, he puts <laughs> out there this quote, he felt obligated to take a more personal role as the public face of the investigation rather than deferring to then Attorney General Loretta Lynch, in part because of something involved Lynch that he cryptically refers to as a development still unknown to the American public to this day. I mean, so like I have dirt, I'm not going to tell you, but I had to be a hero and get involved, and she's dirty, but I can't tell you why. I mean, what's your take on this? I think Comey's a sleazebag. I, I think uh, if he had so evidence, that way. If, if I it, look, if he had evidence as the FBI director, it's incumbent upon him to bring it forward and to protect uh, the rule of law. He clearly did not do that. He also leaked information for his own personal gain while he was the FBI director. This is a salacious book. It's written uh, to get even with the president and to rewrite history. And guess what? He's not doing it for any altruistic benefit. He's doing it to make money. He's, uh, he's with the Washington Speakers Bureau. He makes about, probably about 100000 a speech in yeah. addition to his book advance. This is about getting even. This is about rewriting history. This is about protecting Comey at the expense of the American people. He did not do his job. So, it, it, you know, it's kind of, so if you're out there to sort of be a hero on the speaker's tour, I think he makes, you know, a buck 25, a speech 125,000 mm -hmm. is what I've heard. I have no idea if that's true. That's just what he's quoted at as going. Um, and he has the book advance and he's going to kind of break it in. God love him. Um, but at this point, hasn't he kind of alienated everybody? I mean, he I sure, don't know. Sure Everybody's mm -hmm. called for his head at one point in time. And as soon as he says something you like, and if you try and quote him, they go, well, what about when he said this about this other person? And you're like, well, he was lying then. So you kind of can't have it both ways with him. Can, can, is he ultimately successful in this, in this realm? Because there's kind of always somebody who wants to buy whatever he's dishing, or is he not? What do you think? I think that uh, this book is being panned. Uh, I think he's surprised that it's being panned. Why is it being panned? Because the book is is uh, a get even uh, book. It is totally self serving. There's not an, in, a scintilla of evidence uh, brought forth in this book that we didn't already know that was out there, including what you just said about Loretta Lynch. He claims that there was some untoward behavior, but he doesn't tell us what it is. Look, this guy is is trying to protect a reputation that has already been sullied. The Democrats don't trust him. Republicans don't trust him. He has a, a, a small circle of friends. Matter of fact, he had a dinner the other day. Um, uh, with, you know what the name of the dinner was? Mm. It was something with a Nazi group or something. Oh. I mean, th this guy well, I don't is know a about that. Okay. This, yeah, he it was in, it was admitted today by a participant who was at the dinner. Okay. That's what they called it. Brad Blakeman, thank you. Appreciate mm. your time.